Now, my next guest is a force to be reckoned with. He first picked up a guitar when he was just two years old and began writing his own songs at the age of 10. Look at that <laughs> picture. What? No, a young that? blood oh, has almost 15 million social media followers, two number one albums, and has been dubbed the future of rock by none other than Mick Jagger. And if that wasn't enough, he's about about to release his first book as well, and he joins us now this morning. And you're very excited to be here, aren't you? I am actually, you? man. It's, it's always a vibe being on the TV. I'm, I'm still a bit like, wow, look at the cameras. Because this is early for you. It is early. I'm a bit of a bat, so you got me out of bed. I, well, well, we are very uh, flattered, uh, very flattered indeed. <laughs> First book. Yes. This is impressive, isn't it? And you describe this as a bit of an interactive journal. Yeah. I think I think when the idea came, everyone was like, you should write a book. And I was like, wow, because I'm not very good at reading. So I've got ADHD, so I'm always a bit energetic. But I um I wanted to do something that was a little bit out of the box. Mm -hmm. And I think I um always had a hard time kind of admitting my identity to a lot of people when I was growing up because I think a lot of people wanted me to tone it down and it led me to feeling really lost. And I, um, I created this book because it's going to force yourself. It's interactive and it's light, but it forces you to kind of look yourself in the mirror and say what you like about yourself and say what you might not like about yourself and do exercises to, to find out things that you might not know about yourself. And it's cool. I think I think it's going to help a lot of people go on a, like an important journey that like you need to do. Mm. You know what I mean? I think individuality is the coolest thing you've got, and this book is going to help you kind of explore that. Yeah. You know, uh -huh. it allows you to sort of think in the moment, write about 100%. how you feel. It's, like, it's kind of like trying to make it like not as deep as we all. We can spend so much time in our heads going like, oh. What am I going to be? What I think this one kind of allows it to be really surface level and like allows you to be really honest with yourself. Yeah. Because I did all the exercises and then I went in and filled it in without thinking about it really quickly. And you kind of go through the book, the story, the journal, whatever, with me at your side. So it's mm -hmm. it's kind of like I kind of jump off jump off the cliff into the water with you. You know what I mean? <laughs> but you are really passionate about encouraging people to accept who they are. Because like you say, you grew up sometimes just feeling a bit lost. It's yeah. feeling like you, you sort of didn't fit in. Yeah. And it's really important to you now to try and help other people to help figure it out, make them feel happier about whoever they are, whatever that is. 100%, I think it was the only, it was the only thing I've got really. I think people get into music because they write about heartbreak and they write about, I think my main inspiration was I felt this kind of, real pain in uh, my stomach. I was like, why do people not get me? Mm. And it, it, I think it's really scary um, to kind of bottle up your personality. It's a really frightening thing to bottle up emotion and bottle up um, things out of fear of not being accepted. And I, all I wanted to do was build a community and build a space where people could come and truly be who they are and be confident about it and give them a little bit of bite, you know what I mean? And give them a little bit of like, well, this is who I am and I can't change that. So if you've got a problem with it, that's not my problem, you know what I mean? But that's why music was such a powerful tool for you. And like yeah. you say, like you've been, you know, since the age of two with a guitar, writing songs from 10. I'm guessing there's a bit of a back catalog there. Of, yeah, of man, tracks I, I, that we... I get better as I get older, <laughs> I think, even now. But your new single, Breakdown, yeah. is brilliant. I oh, love it. You. I've listened to it several times now in the I car. The video it. is actually like a little mini movie. Yeah, if you haven't is. seen it, you have to go and watch it and watch it right to the very end without giving and anything away. Um, it's, it's a brilliant sound one. Mick Jagger has described you and your sound as hopefully the future of, of rock and roll. It's cool. Um, but it's it actually, that song started out as a poem. It did. Uh, that song, I, I think like I'm 20, I've just turned 27. So I'm going through a lot of change in my life. Mm -hmm. And I, it really freaked me out. I think like I kind of had settled into who I was, but it happens to all of us. You know what I mean? You get comfortable and then something crazy happens and that's just life. And I wrote this kind of poem down um, to help like ground myself. And I wrote this, that song wasn't actually supposed to come out. It came out because I was, I wrote it for myself and I was listening to it to kind of bring up my mood if I would ever feel mm -hmm. anxious or if I was ever gonna cancel plans. I kind of wrote that for me. And my manager's my best mate. And he heard that, he's like, what's that? 
And I'm like, oh, it's just this little thing I wrote for myself. He's like, we're going to put it out. And I was like, I don't know because it's not typically like young blood sound. It's normally a bit more like rock and roll, you know what I'm saying? And this is a bit more drum and bassy. But he was like, if, if you connect to it so deeply, I think everyone will. And Everyone's loving it. I yeah. think it's like a little bit, it's got this like light in it. It's like mm. a little bit of a buzz in your tummy. We mentioned Mick Jagger. Um, what does Rod Stewart think? Have we been in touch with Rod? <laughs> Never been I in touch. I can make that happen. And the reason I ask is you grew up thinking he was a very close relative for <laughs> yeah, long enough did. time, didn't you? I did. People wonder why I look like this and why I'm crazy. <laughs> I was told by my nan my whole life, up to the age of 10, that Rod Stewart was my granddad. <laughs> I know, man. Like, no, but there was a photograph there of him at home. There was a photograph on the mantelpiece. <laughs> And my mum never had a dad, so she always used to tell me, oh, that's your granddad. <laughs> so I used to love it, man. I used to love the leopard print. And then we were in, in Asda one day with my nan, and I was like, next to the, the till, there was loads of, like, a Rod Stewart CD, and I kind of picked up this CD and looked at my nan, like, eyes full of water. I was like, when's granddad coming home? And <laughs> everyone, like, laughed, and she was completely mortified. And, that's when I found out Rod Stewart is, in fact, not my granddad. <laughs> that was another pivotal moment yeah, classic. in Young Blood's but early life. I'm telling life. you, man, he taught me leopard print and I'll <laughs> wear did. it till I'm, I'm not here anymore. You know what I mean? <laughs> You've held on to it ever <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> oh, my God, it's been such a pleasure <laughs> to meet you. We're talking the new book, um, You Need to Exist. It's, uh, it's out next yeah, it week, is. It next is. Thursday. Breakdown the single is out now. It is. Uh, Blood Fest Festival, that's all kicking off this month it as is. well. This weekend, man, if yes. you're about coming down it's at Milton Keynes Bowl and it's going to be the biggest uh, show we've ever played. Brilliant with that very special community of all ages which 100%. I think is really really important to point out too. It's been such a treat Thank meeting you. you. Me. Was I'll it worth getting up early for 100%, it? 100% man. I'm, I'm pleased wired. to hear it. I'm wired now. I feel like I've had a cup of coffee. <laughs> how you should start your day. <laughs> 100%. <laughs> Still